Yeah, see, in a barber shop, it's like pretty much like a man's second home. You got the first hair, no, the second hair show. Like, we all feel comfortable here. We can let loose, we can have fun. We talk about everything from sports to women. Now we're just showing off. <laughs> it's your typical neighborhood barber shop on the corner of South Pine. You would think that we would get respected a little more for uh, stepping up to the plate. Getting a shape up. She pretty much wants to keep my son away from me with sheer strength here you go bro man i start crying i'm not gonna like i'm not gonna sugarcoat it like it really hit me in my heart halloween the last time nate fleming saw his seven-year-old son not by choice though but after his son's mother decided to take legal action so nate couldn't see him anymore a judge agreed i want him to have both of both of his parents it doesn't have to be just me it doesn't have to be just her I want both of us. Sometimes trying to live through your kids can be a weakness. You see, this isn't a story of a dad trying to get back at a woman. It's a story of a guy who it's just been, uh, wants to be better. A lifelong lesson that my mom keeps trying to teach me. It's called the Daddy She's Project of York. I definitely uh, commend everybody who's doing their job. Determined, ambitious dads who don't yield. And Nate will tell you, it hasn't been easy. I don't be in the streets. I kind of like felt like thrown in the towel at, at times, but once I thought about it and I talked to a few different people, I felt like that wasn't the best thing to do. Like, my son really does need me, so I don't want him to be a statistic. Nate is trying to take a cut above the rest. You see, in his neighborhood, there's a belief that just because you're not involved in your kid's life means you're a deadbeat dad. And that's a thought he hopes will soon fade away. Some of the tactics of old schoolism upbringing. Tonight's appointment at the barbershop isn't for the hair, but to show they care. About a year and a half, two years after coming out of jail to actually have that father-son bond. I'm trying to promote fatherhood. They talk about the struggles. As a, as a parent yourself, do you have any weaknesses? Things Many of them can only see their kids in pictures, but together find ways to take parenting classes and get legal counsel. I had to cut a lot of that stuff out and give her that time. If they see the lows that I've been through and where I want to be, it might inspire them not to give up, whether it's a minor situation or not. I don't want them to give up. Anybody. Women too. The youngest in the group is 19. They call him Big D, and things are good for him. He sees his five-month-old, but he comes here to stay motivated. I have positive people that like surrounded around me and keep me on the right path. If I can have a conversation with you. They all have one thing in common. They just want to be dads again. I just want my son to know that I love him. I'm trying everything that I can. Uh, blood, sweat, and tears. I'm not going to give up. And I'm going to be reunited with him one day.